Good day, class. Good day. My name is Stefan Williams, and I'll be your moderator for today's lecture. Please silence all cell phones and all electronic devices. Welcome to the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research. This is a school and not a church. Neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This school was a nonprofit, non denominational, religious, and scientific research organization dedicated to showing the proof and the existence of Yahweh our Elohim and the operations of his eternal purpose, pattern, and plan operate throughout eternity to this present day. This school was established as a result of a divine vision and divine revelation given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kimmel, in the state of Ohio in the year 1931. We were incorporated in the state of California in the year 1958. We hold classes in the United States, Canada, New Mexico, Jamaica, Africa, and certain other foreign countries. The Omaha Class Cottage Meetings was established in 2016. In this school, we use the true and original name and title of the Father, the Word or Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are contained in the original Hebrew text. The true name of our Heavenly Father is Yahweh. It has been improperly substituted by Lord. The um excuse me. The true title of the word or son is Elohim. It has been improperly substituted by God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifested in or out of a physical body is Yahshua. It has been erroneously substituted by Jesus Christ. Now, Lord and God are titles and not names. The Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many. We now know that each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title. But unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. That means that Elohim is a title that our Creator chose for Himself. Jesus is a name. But it's an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part into any good dictionary or encyclopedia would prove to you that neither the Hebrew language, the Greek language, or the Latin languages have neither characters or letters in the alphabets that will produce the sound that is made by this letter J. Neither was there a letter J in the English language until some 1400 years after the Messiah's death. So such names as Jesus and Jehovah are impossible renderings of the true and original name of the Father and Son. Christ is a title just like Lord and God. Now, Yahweh is pure spirit. And in this state, he is incomprehensible and inscrutable. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh symbolized on this chart as a cloud. Yahweh is not a cloud. He really chose a cloud to symbolize itself because a cloud has no particular or descriptive shape or form. We have drawn a cloud. All around the edges of this chart to show you how everything on this chart is within the cloud. In like manner, everything in the universe abides within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Now, Yahweh, knowing that man could not conceive of him in his pure spirit state, took on shape. It took on form. Right within himself, that's Elohim. This is the word or son. A superincorporeal being that is having a shaping form of a man 
but without flesh and blood. This form can only be seen in divine visions and understood in divine revelation. Later on, this self-same spirit manifested himself in a physical body and walked the earth plane as Joshua the Messiah, whom the world called Jesus Christ. Now there's only one name given to salvation, and we must know that name. So the simple yet important question, the simple yet intelligent question you should ask yourself is, what was the name of the Savior during the time that he walked the earth plane? A further understanding of this name and title can be had by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible. Also in this school, we teach by the divine pattern of the universe. It is called the divine pattern of the universe because of Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he called Moses atop Mount Sinai and showed him this tabernacle pattern in the vision. He instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the waters of Sinai. The pattern consists of a most holy place, a holy place, and a court round the bow. These three compartments make up the one tabernacle pattern. Also in this school, we go about to show proof how that everything is made and operates according to this threefold tabernacle pattern and absolutely nothing escapes the pattern. Our ten primary constitutional aims and objectives of the Institute are as follows. First, to help you find and know Yahweh our Elohim as he really is and actually exists. Second, to form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah without the station of race, nationality, sex, creed, caste, or color. Third, to investigate the unexplained spirit law, a so-called law of nature, and powers latent in man. Fourth, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religions, philosophy, psychology, modern, practical, and occult science. Fifth, to extirpate current superstitions, skepticisms, and ignorance. Six, to learn, know, and understand the operations of Yahweh's eternal purpose through the dispensation and ages. Seven, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan's demons operating the mystery of iniquity on earth through the dispensations of time. Eighth, to earnestly contend for the common salvation of faith, which was once delivered unto the sons or children of Yahweh. Ninth, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained, there is no other name given among men, whereby man can be saved, saving the name of Yahshua the Messiah. Tenth, to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah with the hope of immortal glorification in the new earth state. Our watchword is peace. Our slogan is speak the truth. We'll begin today's class with an opening prayer. which will be given by Sister Rapunzel Williams. We'll have two selections of songs, standing announcements, guest acknowledgments, and our scripture lesson for this day's lecture is Exodus, the third chapter, and that will be read by Dr. Stefan Williams. Let us all remain seated for the opening prayer. Good day, class. Good day. Let us bow our hearts and minds to Yahshua Messiah, uh, Yahweh Elohim. Um, I just thank you for bringing us back.
back again to another class to learn more about your purpose, your pattern, your plan. I want to thank you for uh, uh, life, health, and strength today. I want to thank you for being our, our banner, our, our healer, our provider. Uh, all praises go to Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Good day. Uh, we have no visitor brethren or ministers from other branches, and we have no first time visitors and no returning visitors. And our announcements for the evening's class is in, uh, the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research. Greetings, brethren. The Springfield, Ohio branch of the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research is planning a special visitors' day event 
on Saturday, November 4, 2017, hosted by the PWRC at the Courtyard by Marriott, 100 South Fountain Avenue, Springfield, Ohio, 45502. All spiritual lectures and events will be held at the Courtyard by Marriott from November the 3rd through the 5th, 2017. Any questions, you can be emailed to R-H-O Miller at Meritech.net or call 937-925-3758. Leave a detailed message and your call will be returned. We look forward in seeing you. Yours and Yashua Messiah, IBMR, Springfield, Ohio Branch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good day again, once again, everyone. Good day. Good day again, class. Okay. Our scripture lesson for today's class is Exodus, the third chapter. And I'll be reading from the Holy Name Bible, containing the Holy Name version of the Old and New Testament, critically compared with ancient authorities and various manuscripts, revised by the late A.B. Trainer, the Scripture Research Association Incorporated, reprinted by Yahshua Promotion. That's Exodus, the third chapter. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of Elohim, even to Horeb. And the angel of Yahweh appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush does not burn. And when Yahweh saw that he turned aside to see, Elohim called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither. Put off, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the Elohim of thy father, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon Elohim. And Yahweh said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land, and a large, and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Parasites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto Elohim, who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I, have, that, I, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve Elohim upon this mountain. And Moses said unto Elohim, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The Elohim of your fathers have sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And Elohim said unto Moses, Aya, Asher, Aya. And he said, Thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, I will be, has sent me unto you. And Elohim said, Moreover, unto Moses, 
Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh, the Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob, hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Go and gather the elders of Israel together and say unto them, Yahweh Elohim of your father, the Elohim of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, appear unto me, saying, I have surely remembered you and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of, the, of, of Egypt, unto the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites unto a land flowing with milk and honey. And they shall hearken to thy voice and thou shalt come thou and the elders of Israel unto the king of Egypt and ye shall say unto him, Yahweh Elohim of the Hebrew has sent, has met with us and now pray, let us go three day journey into the wilderness that we may sacrifice to Yahweh our Elohim. And I am sure that the king of Egypt would not let you go, but, but by a mighty hand. And I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with, with all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof. And after that, he will let you go. And I will give this people favor in the sight of Egypt, in, of the Egyptians, excuse me. And I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. But every woman shall demand of her neighbor and of her that sojourneth in her house jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And ye shall put them upon your sons and upon your daughters, and ye shall recover from the Egyptian. I just read for you Exodus third chapter. Hallelujah. Um, good day again, class. Good day. I'd like to remind the class to please silence all cell phones and all electronic devices. Now I'd like to call on our first speaker for today's class. I'd like to call on Sister Rapunzel Williams. Sister Williams? Good day, class. Good day. Uh, once again, I'd like to say I thank y'all for bringing me back again to another class. To learn more about his purpose, his power, he plan, plan he has for us. Um, what you see before you is a, a divine vision and revelation, as our moderation says, uh, given to our founder, Dr. Henry C. Henry, in the state of Ohio in the year of 1931. Um, could you get Habakkuk 2 and 2, please? Habakkuk 2 and 2. Habakkuk 2 and 2, I'll be reading from the Holy Name Bible, Habakkuk, the second chapter, second verse. And Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision yes. and make it plain upon tables yes. that everyone may read it fluently. Yes. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, yes. but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Okay. Now. Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. As you see, uh, this is a pictorial illustration of the Bible. Like I said, a divine vision and revelation right. given to our founder, Dr. Henry C. Kenley, in the state of Ohio in the year of 1931. Uh, this is the way uh, Yahweh wanted him to teach us how about our Heavenly Father, our Elohim, and the Holy Spirit, which is your son, Yahshua the Messiah. Mm. This is the way Yahweh wanted us to learn about him. Right. Not in these churches. Right. Um, not standing on the corner with our Bible, talking loud, screaming at people. This is the way right here. Um, 
we have found out that tables is a systematic data mm -hmm. of uh, rows and columns. Right. Um, um, and as you see here, we have plates here. Mm -hmm. And this is spiritual food that we're eating from. Right. We have the natural food, our physical food, and then we have to have our spiritual food. Right. And sometimes we see people that's inside of these churches and whatever else you want to call them, and they still look sick in their in they soul and in their body mm -hmm. because they're not getting the right fed, the right kind of food. Right. And this is the right food right here that we need for our souls right, right here. Right, Um. On my appointment today, they were talking about, um, sometimes I listen to what they're saying. I do always listen, but, you know, Sometimes the things will give a little tickle to me inside my inside my inside my soul. But they were saying that um, as they call their God, their Jesus, is going to flood the whole world over again. Mm -hmm. um, but little do they know that Yahweh has said that was not the way He was going to uh, uh, destroy the world again. Can you find That's that? That's right. Me? Can you find that for me, please? Yes. Okay, let's try Genesis the ninth chapter. And I'm going to start the 13th verse, all right? All right. From the Holy Name Bible. It says, uh, he says, I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a sign of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. Okay. Read this a little more. It says, and the bow shall be in the cloud yes. and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between Elohim and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. Okay. Now, that rainbow That's right. is set for us to see. Right. That was Yahweh's, I would say, promise, right. covenant, that he was not going to destroy the earth again with the, with the flood. With, right, right. So everybody's talking about they're getting up, going to mass at 3 o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. and they're going to mass when they leave work to pray for this, uh, for for. For their God not to destroy the earth with the flood. Right. And I'm thinking to myself, they just don't know. Right. That rainbow that's up there that we see after it rains or while it's raining or whatever was a covenant promise that Yahweh made with us that he was not going to destroy the earth again with, with the flood. That's right. But the satanic spirit that took that colorful rainbow yeah. and want to make it now out of the, the, the homosexual sign. Right. You know, that's their color now. Right. We have a couple of women at my appointment that they wear rainbow bows, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but that was, that was Yahweh's, you know? He wanted to be like Yahweh. Right. right? So that he went on and took that rainbow and made it out of the satanic spirit as for the homosexuals. Right. Men and women are homosexuals. Right. Um, but I know now that Yahweh's not going to destroy this uh world with earth with a uh, flood anymore. Right. You know? uh, like I said, it's a wonderful thing that we can come to class and I can take what I learned in class and I can apply it to all every every single thing out there. That's and, right. And every single thing that goes on in this in this universe. Right. Huh? Um that Yahweh has, has created. Right. Um, um now like, like I said, he wants to be like uh, the Most High, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he can't be. Right. But Yahweh got his purpose, got him going and doing exactly what he's doing. Right. Got the people thinking that, you know, crazy stuff, you know. Um, as I was uh, uh, waiting for class this evening and laying down, I was thinking of how this religious world here, every single one of them, um, but I would say the children of God in Christ, mm -hmm. uh, they got this standard about, you know, how they're going to get to heaven and uh, how you don't supposed to wear no pants and you're not supposed to wear no makeup, you know. Mm -hmm. And I got to thinking, 
today as I was waiting for class is that y'all really don't even care about you wearing pants. That's not what he's after you wearing pants. Right. He's after your soul. Right. He don't care if you put makeup on your face or you polish your fingernails and polish your toes. He don't care about none of that. It's about your it's about your soul that he's after. That he wants. You know, he don't care. You know, and I think I went back and I was thinking about how there's some Church of God of Christ, uh, whatever else, religion, they will put a little bit of makeup on. But I'm thinking, does that make you get closer to heaven because you don't do those things? Mm. But Yahweh, don't, there's no flesh and blood there. You know, there's, can you, you can. What's that? There's no flesh and blood. Can, uh, in the flesh and blood in the kingdom? Yes. Uh, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, in the 50th verse. 1 Corinthians 15 and 50 from the Holy Name Bible. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, neither do a corruption inherit corruption. That's right. So, now, there's no flesh and blood. Yahweh is not dealing with no flesh and blood. Right. It's only about your soul. Right. And... Yahweh know that being that this is the only way for us to learn about him, these charts and stuff are not placed in no church. Right. I've never seen them, and they're not there at all. Right. Um, this is the way, was the design way for us to learn about our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. um, like the moderation said, Yahweh is pure spirit. Right. And in this day, he is incomprehensible and inscrutable. He's the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. Right. Huh? Of everything. And you can't even picture that. And I was thinking, that flood that we got that's going on in Texas, Yahweh say, Eh, that's your hand. He said, I will be what I will to be. That's right. Mm -hmm. And if he were to be a flood today, that's, that's, that's a, that's a heavenly father. That's right. If he will to be a tornado tomorrow, that's a heavenly father. That's right. Air, ash, and, air. and if he will to be a big old uh, uh, snowstorm, that's our father. Huh? That's right. Air, ash, and air. I will be what I will to be. <laughs> that's huh? right. <laughs> and, uh, and you can't stop it. No. You, you can't stop it. You can't control it. You ain't got no say over it. I will be what I will to be. That's right. So while the people are thinking all this other stuff, this is Yahweh who's got this thing going exactly the way it's supposed to go. That's right. And we can't stop it. No. We can't, we can't try to dodge it. This is Yahweh's doing. That's right. This is Yahweh's doing with this whole this whole flood that's going on in Texas. That's right. That, that's his doing. That's right. And we got no say over that. No. That's Yahweh. That's Yahweh. Ea, Asha, Ea. Huh? I will be what I will to be. That's right. And um, the fifth, a, our fifth aim say to extirpate. Can you look up that word, please? Extirpate. Yes. The definition of the word extirpate. I'll be reading it from the um, second college edition, the American Heritage Dictionary. The definition of the word extirpate. Definition of the word extirpate is to pull up by the roots, to destroy, to exterminate, to remove by surgery, okay. to root out. Okay. To pull up, to root out. Mm -hmm. Now, to extirpate current superstition, skepticism, and ignorance. That's right. About this name right here, about Lord. God and Jesus Christ yeah. and Jehovah, huh? To slowly pull up the root out of those because those names, of, as a moderation say, of First uh, Corinthians eight and five, uh, by the Holy, uh, by uh, Paul. Paul says, "Lord and God are titles and not names." Mm -hmm. um, for each Lord must have a name, and each God must have a name also. Right. So now we know that our Heavenly Father name is not God, or Lord, and God, or Jesus Christ. Right. Now, so Yahweh wants to come and 
pluck those things up out of you. Get that up out of you. So cut them away. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So to, so you can know who he truly is. Right. Um. Uh, Yahweh Elohim, Yahshua the Messiah, a pure spirit. Elohim is a super incorporeal form, and Yahshua is a physical form. These three are one. Mm -hmm. uh, Yahweh come in his father's name, Yah. Yahshua come in his father's name. Yahshua come in his father's name, Yah, and Yah. Mm -hmm. I come in my father's name, Terrell. Mm -hmm. I resemble my father. Uh, you come in your father's name, William. Mm -hmm. So we come in our father's name. Now, Lord, God, and Jesus Christ are... <laughs> Can't even see it. Don't even know. Mm -hmm. No, I don't even know because when I look, when I look around, be, being that Yahweh has made everything. Yeah. Okay. Being that the womb or the sun, a super corporal being, huh? Everything come from the pattern of of our of the world or sun mm -hmm. that come into creation. Right. Okay. So as we see, we have trees. We have Trees with Y's. Right. I don't see no Y's or no L's and no G's and no J's and the trees. Right. Huh? I I see when you pull up a root, actually pull up a root from from the ground, it has a bunch of Y's coming from it. That's right. Right. So this whole creation, this whole universe, our type, original pattern of the universe is Yahweh. Right. Huh? Yahweh is is pure spirit. Take on form, take on shape and form. Right. And the, and the, and the, as the uh, as the mind workers say, take on shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood. Right. This is a vision that everybody. Can you pass my Bible there? Mm-hmm. You need it. Yes. This is the vision that every one that Yahweh has given uh, has gave a uh, divine vision and revelation to. In our book, in our in our holy name Bible, um, this Bible is only talking about Yahweh to know about Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua the Messiah. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with Rapunzel and Rapunzel's problems, right? And what Rapunzel's going on in her life, right? This book only talks about Yahweh's and his story, right? And it's his story. That's right. It's Yahweh's story, right? About himself and of the and Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, Messiah. If you got anything out of this, all praise go to Yahshua, Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good day again, class. Good day. Thank you, Sister Rapunzel Williams. Thank you. I'd like to call on the second speaker of today's class, and that would be me, Dr. Stefan Williams. Good day, everyone. Good day. I'm thankful and grateful to be here. And I'm like always, you always see fit to bring you back to another class. To learn more of him, how he truly is, how he actually exists. To learn more of his eternal purpose, pattern, and plan for salvation that he already accomplished for us. And um, I enjoyed the previous marks, the, pre the previous marks of the first speaker. Covered a few things. Um, one of the things, um, let me see here. I want you to get for me um, 1 Corinthians 8 and 5. She, she went over it. I just wanted, I just wanted, I just wanted it to be read. Uh, King James Version? King James Version of 1 Corinthians 8 and 5. Of King James Version. Go ahead. For though there be that are, for though there be that are called gods. Uh huh. Now the King James Bible um, has a lot of, in other words, where where Yahweh supposed to be or mm -hmm. Elohim mm -hmm. in, in the so-called New Testament part of, part of the King James Bible. Yes. It's going to say God for Yahweh. Okay. Mm hmm. Certain instances, but in the in the um, Old Testament, when you see God it's supposed to be Elohim, okay. Yeah. So the King James Bible has taken out 
Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, mm -hmm. he got me and yeah. he put inserted where Lord is yes. supposed to be Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Okay, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. Yes. Okay, all those places they, they took out the the true correct name of our heavenly Father over five to six thousand places in the Old Testament law. Mm -hmm. Okay, where God is, is in King James is supposed to be L on him. Yes. Okay, but you don't see the name Jesus in the Old Testament nowhere. Okay. <laughs> right. You should question that, okay? Mm -hmm. So it has um, so in the so-called New New Testament, mm -hmm. okay, where place you see Jesus, mm -hmm. okay, it's supposed to be Yahshua, mm -hmm. okay. So you read it from the King James Bible. I just want you to read how how it's how it's uh, read there, okay. okay. For though there be that are called gods, okay. whether in heaven oh. or in earth. Okay, now we understand that Yahweh is not a god. Okay? Right. Yahweh has a divine title, which is, which is, he chose for himself, which is Elohim. Okay? Yes. God and Lord and God are titles, not names, all right? Yes. So let's just keep that in mind. Go ahead. As there be gods, many. Now, there's many gods. Yes, it is. There's a title now, mm -hmm. name. there's many of them. Read on. And... Lord's many. And now it's Lord's many now. Mm -hmm. You got me? Right. You go over to the house of Lord's over there, over in, I believe it was over there in, 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 England. Uh, in England or or, or or in Britain, Great Britain. Yes. yes. Okay, they have a house, what they call a house of Lord's. Yes. You go over there and, and, and hit that bell. Mm -hmm. So one of the Lord's come down, you stand up for one of the Lord's and say, now this house of Lord's got about five of the Lord's in it. Yes, that's right. You're going to ask I, I come here to see the Lord. Now that man gonna say back to you, Lord Philip or whatever. Mm -hmm. See, Lord Philip. Right. Meaning the title before the name. See, now he gonna say to you, which one? <laughs> see, like the Bible says over in First Corinthians eight and five. Yes, it is. Holy uh, 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 Paul filled the Holy Spirit. Yes. But we come to find out that the Holy Spirit name is Yahshua. Yes. So Yahshua has revealed this to Paul. Mm -hmm. Or truly, Yahshua's in Paul, mm -hmm. you got me? And saying that there is Lord's many. Yes. And God's many. Mm -hmm. Read on. Read on. But to us, there is but one God. But to us, there, but to us, there is nothing but one Elohim, truly. That's the correction I'm putting in there. Mm -hmm. But to us, the true believers, there's one Elohim if there's not many of them. You got me? Yes. There's only one, and he and, and he has a divine, revealed, holy name. His name was Yahweh. The divine title was Elohim. You got me? Yes. You understand? Yes. And the and, and this and this in, in other words, you have Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua had the first speaker already had uh drawn out a little bit, but I'm just gonna go over a little little further. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have Yahweh in three states of existence. Yes. You understand? See, like the world will have you to, 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 to lie to you, been lying to you and say that Jesus, yes. you got me, is God's little boy. Mm -hmm. You got me, see all that, see all that Roman stuff? Yes. See, Yahweh is a unity and not a trinity. You got me? Yes. It's Yahweh in two manifestations and three states of existence. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to bring it down to the physical. See, I'm one man. Yes. And I have one name. Yes. You got me? Mm -hmm. My name don't change. Right. Even though I'm a husband. Mm -hmm. You got me? I'm a brother. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. I'm an uncle. Yes. I'm a grandfather. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. But my name in all of those manifestations, guess what? My name is Stefan. Still. And guess what else? I am still that one man. Yes, you are. You got me? Yes. And guess what else? What? I have a head cavity, a chest cavity, you got me? Yes. And a abdominal cavity. Yes. Guess what? And I'm still one body. Yes. And in this one body, mm -hmm. from a physical standpoint, I breathe in air. Yes. Exhaling and exhaling air, air. Air, is that right? That's right. So now I'm just a spirit. Mm -hmm. You got me? Mm -hmm. I have blood circulating all through this physical body. Mm -hmm. And I have water circulating through this physical body. Mm -hmm. You got me? Mm -hmm. 
those three yes. are in this body. Mm -hmm. You got me? Yes. Showing that's a witness that Yahweh is a unity. Yes. And not a trinity. You got me? So it's Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua. This is the divine title of Yahweh. And this is Yah uh, Yahshua is Yahweh manifested in the flesh. Mm -hmm. You got me? You understand yes. that? Yes. You prove that. Okay? You understand? Yes. So that's the way it go. Yahweh in three spaces of existence. You got me? Yes. And two manifestations of himself. Mm -hmm. You got me? Mm -hmm. You understand that? Yes. All right. So it's not many. It's like he said in that verse, it says, but those that believe is only one. You mm -hmm. got me? It's yes. not many. Right. You got me? Yahweh is one. The satanic spirit, he's many. Yes, he is. You understand? Yes. All right. So that's good. So I want to I want to read something. Okay. You can do your research on this too. Talking about these, we want to find out how many people might not know what you're going to know today, and do your research. Okay. Okay. Now, you've got the reading. How I said that there are many gods. Yes. Okay. Now watch this. Today, today is uh, what's today? Friday, right? Yes, yes. Come to go down. You know we have seven days in a week. Yes. Okay. And, and, and by the Gregorian calendar that we that primarily we use over here in the states. Okay. Okay. And that Gregorian calendar came about, but was created in the year fifteen ninety two. It came about by Pope Gregory the Thirteenth in that time. Okay. Okay. Now watch this. Monday is considered Moon Day. That's the Moon Goddess. Mm -hmm. You got me? Yes. So, truly, the name of Monday or the title of the name or the, the name Monday is is after. In other words, it's the name of a god. Ain't that mm -hmm. something? Yes. Ain't that something? Because mm -hmm. you got to saying there's many gods. Yes, it is. Over in First Corinthians eight and five. Yes. Okay. Tuesday is called. T I W apostrophe S day, which is the god of battle. Look that something. Mm. Wednesday is Wooden's day, the god of poetry. Thursday is Thor's day, the god of thunder and the dead. Mm. Okay? Friday is Frigg's or Freya, spelled F R E Y A apostrophe S day, the goddess of love. Mm. All right. Saturday is Saturn's day, the god of fertility, of, of fertility and agriculture. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Sunday is Sun's day, spelled S U N apostrophe S day, the sun god. All right. Mm -hmm. And most of us are unaware that the names of each day and many of the months were given. In honor of beloved gods or goddesses. Right. Ain't that something? Yes. Do your research. Mm -hmm. Do you know whom the days are named for? Ain't that something? Mm. See? Now, here, now, here's the names. Now, these are the names of the months. <laughs> okay. Some more gods got 12 months in a year under the yes. Gregorian calendar. Is that right? That's right. Now, we're in the month of September, right? Yes, we are. But I'm going to go up and come back down, starting in January. January is is called Janus, J-A-N-U-S, the God of Gates. Okay, the mm -hmm. months mm -hmm. and the day, the days of the week are, are actually named for God. Ain't that something? Mm, really? February, named for uh, Feb, Februa, spelled F-E-B-R-U-A, the day of purification. Mm. March is called Mars, God, God of War. April is called Approved, spelled A P R U, Goddess of Love. All right? May is Mala, spelled M A L A, Goddess of Growth, Earth Goddess. All right? Juno, mm -hmm. okay, for June. Great goddess of ancient world, all right? July, named for Julius Caesar. Ain't that something? <laughs> In August, named for Augustus, adopted son of Julius Caesar. 
September, October, November, and December are derived from Latin words for their old number. September comes from the Latin word mm. for seven, as it was the seventh month of the old Julian calendar. Of course, in our calendar, it is the ninth month. Isn't that something? Yes. Mystery is hidden in plain sight. <laughs> we use the months and days of the week without thinking. History and ancient mysteries are hidden in plain sight. Even as we go about somewhat uh, mundane daily tasks. Yes, for while the Gregorian calendar was imposed as a way to control and dominate mm -hmm. the actual names of the months and days of the week are much older. I think that's something. Mm, yes. Yahweh has mercy, I tell you. You got that? Yes. Then there you go. See, you talking about, oh God, God <laughs> this and God that that's and Lord right. this and Lord that. It's many of them. That's probably, right. Probably came a name of them all. You got me? Yes. That don't hold nothing. God what? What's your God's name? <laughs> See, God didn't know that, didn't realize that God is a title and not a name. It's erroneous title. Mm -hmm. You got me? Yes. And Lord is erroneous title for the Heavenly Father in, 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 in his, his name and his true title. You got me? Yes. That's something. That's beautiful, ain't it? That's beautiful. All right. So now, let's turn to, um, he was talking about how Yahweh said, uh, he's Aya Asher Aya, right? Yes. He will be what he will to be, right? Yes. He's talking about the hurricane. Yes. And, and, and different, uh, uh, these different, uh, uh, how can I say it? These different events, I can say it like that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Why Why? Why does it be occurring like it's occurring, all right? Yeah. So let's read for ourselves and find out. Uh, get for me Psalms 148 chapter. It started verse 1. Uh, Holy name Bible. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Now, hallelujah. See? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, now you hear, see, even in the, even in the, even in them uh, so-called churches, yeah. now you hear them say hallelujah. Yes. And they'll put a J-A-H at the end. That J yeah. is deception. Mm -hmm. when, you, when, when that's supposed to be pronounced hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You got me? Mm -hmm. but, but it's pronounced Really, what it's supposed to be the why there? Yes. Hallelujah, meaning all praises belong to Yahweh. Ain't that something? <laughs> the satanic spirit praises Yahweh. That's you right. got me. Everything mm -hmm. got the bow that has breath and praise Yahweh. Let's find out if that's true or false. Start that back again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, me all praises be to Yahweh. Read on. Praise Yahweh. Read from the heavens. Praise Yahweh from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Yahweh in the high tree. Praise ye him. Pray, read. Pray, uh, praise ye him, all his angels. Now the angels, he said, now the angels, I'm just pointing up here. He said, now the angels, what? Read. Uh, praise, praise ye him. The angels praise Yahweh, read on. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Now the hosts mean the angelic hosts. Praise Yahweh, read. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him now, sun and moon. Now the sun and moon is up here. Praise him, the sun and the moon. The sun and the moon praise Yahweh. The angels praise Yahweh. Read on. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Wait a minute now. The stars praise Yahweh. Read on. Praise him, ye all heavens of heavens. The heavens praise Yahweh. Read. And you waters that be above the heavens. Wait a minute, the waters above the heavens, the rain that you see coming down, guess what? It's praising Yahweh by that act that it's doing. That's giving praise to Yahweh. When this, when you see that sunrise, yes. you got me? Yes. That's giving praise to Yahweh by his rising. That's praise right there, yes. you got me? When they, we see that moon at nighttime, when it's clear sky and the stars is out there. You got me? Yes. You don't see it all the time. Why? Because when that sun, think about this for a minute. Do you know the sun is a star? It's the brightest one. Okay. You got me? Yeah. Now watch this. It would it would appear that the stars have whipped somewhere. Yes. Now watch it. When the sun comes up, then stars and the moon is still right there. 
You got me? Okay. But he's so bright yes. that you don't see nothing <laughs> but him and them, and them stars and moons are still right there. Ain't that something? That's something. He just shared that good little light. Yes. But guess what? All of them is giving praise. Hmm. Read on. Let them praise the name of Yahweh. That's what that just said, right? Yes. All right. Read on. For he commanded and they were created. He commanded what? He commanded the creation? Yes. He commanded the moon, the stars, the water, the sun. Yes. You got me the trees. You got me the snow. Yes. You got me the, 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 the animals. Yes. The vegetarian kingdom, whatever else it may be. The insect kingdom. You got me? Yes. What did it say he did? He, for he commanded. Because he commanded. And what happened? And they were created. And they were so. Read on. He had also established them forever and ever. Right. He established them forever and ever. Read on. He had made a decree. He has made a decree. He has made a decree. Now watch this here. He has created mankind. Right. Yes. He has made a decree, meaning he he made boundaries for mankind. You got me. Yes. He made boundaries for the you know for the whales and the killer whales and the dolphins and the sharks and the and the, and the sea urchins and the you, you got me yes. and the ants and the grasshoppers. He and, and the eagles and the he made a decree, meaning you got me mean boundaries for that. It ain't that something yes. for the waters. He made boundaries for ain't that something. Yes. That's what he said, right? Is, is, is that so? Yes. Read on. He has made a decree That's which right. shall not pass. It ain't going to go past that. <laughs> Read on. Praise. And when it do go past the decree, there's a problem. You got to hurt. In other words, keep reading. Praise Yahweh. Read. From the earth, ye uh, dragons. Now the dragon, which is, a, which is the type of, of a satanic spirit, that dragon, the satanic spirit, that dragon or that devil, satanic spirit, that serpent, uh -huh. Satan himself, guess what? Has to praise the one that created him. Read on. Yahweh, from the earth, ye dragons and all deeps. All depths. Read depths. on. Fire and Fire hell. And hell. Snow. Snow. And vapor. And vapor. Stormy wind. Now, that, now when them hurricanes get to coming in, that wind it, it be four hundred and forty hour, forty mile per hour wind. Ain't that something? Yes. Let's say, and they call them storms, right? Yes. They say stormy winds. Yes. Is praising him. The hurricanes are praising Yahweh by the acts that he's doing. Read on. For the hell, for for fire and hell, Read. snow and vapor, Read. storm, stormy wind. When it's hell is giving praise, when the snow is giving praise, when the fire is giving praise. Read on. Fulfilling his word. Fulfilling. Ain't that something? Read on. Mountains. Mountains. And all hills. And all hills. Fruitful trees. Ain't that something? And all cedars. Read. Beasts and all cattle. Ain't that? Read. Creeping <laughs> things. Read. And flying fowls. Read. Kings of the earth. The kings. And all people. And all people. What prince, happens? Prince and all judge of the earth. Read. Both young men and maidens. Old men and children. Wow, read. Let them praise the name of Yahweh. All right. For his name alone. For his for his name alone, Yahweh. Read on. It's excellent. It's excellent. Look here, this name is excellent, y'all. Read on. Ain't nothing great. To read. His glory is above the earth and heaven. I mean, for, uh, excuse me. His glory is ab above the earth and heaven. Read. He had. He also. Read. Uh, exalt the. The horn of his people. That's right. Read and praise and praise of all his saints. Or sons. All his sons. Read even even the children of Israel. Read of people near unto him. Hallelujah. All right. So just what you said. Deya Asha Eya, meaning I will be what I will to be. Ain't that something? Yes. Everything that's created that is yes. created. Gives him praise. Mm. Ain't that something? That's something. Ain't no doubt about it. Mm. All right? Yes. So go back to the scripture reading. Exodus um, three. 3. All right? Okay. And, and um, read it from the King James Bible. Okay. And then, and then read, read the correction. All right? 
Exodus 3 and start at, um, start at 14 and come on down. Exodus 3 and 14 from the King James Bible. Let's King go. James Version. Read. And God said unto Moses. Now, now, it said, now God said. Unto Moses. Mm hmm I am that I am. <laughs> I that I am that I am. So like Popeye, right? Yes. So, so the King James Bible was a Roman. It's supposed to be Elohim there. Yes. It said God said. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Ain't that something? Yes. You got to read about how many gods there are. Ain't that yes, something? Yes, that's right. And Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth, yes. is not a god. Right. It's erroneous. Now, we're going we gonna to put the correction where it's supposed to be. Let's start that over again. Okay. And the King James Version? Right. Yeah, read okay. it. And God said unto Moses, mm -hmm. this, this, Now, this is a title now. This is a Roman title. Read on. I am that I am. I am that I am. That means that I am that I am. That's limited to, uh, that's limited compared to I will be what I will to that's be. That's right. I am that I am meaning that's just what I am. Mm -hmm. But I will be what I will to be. Hey, God that's mean, covered, well. that covered the whole yes, spectrum. Read on. And he said, Thus shall I say unto the children of Israel, Read. I am has sent me unto you. Read. And God said, Now, Lord, now, you got to, now, just hold it right there, because we understand that, uh, I'm going to go do a pictorial illustration. You have, you have, um, Moses right here at the burning bush, all right? Okay. And we, as you go up in, in the third chapter, it's going to say that, um, Yahweh, uh, that, that, that Moses, yes. he's in the, he's in the holy place, okay? He's, he's, he's in the land of Midian, all right? Okay. He was a sheep herder for, for his father-in-law Jethro, right? Okay. Now Moses is 80 years old here, okay? Mm -hmm. Um let, let, let me come back down here and go and go back and pick up okay. the story. This is Exodus 2. This this told it where you are. Okay. Now this is Moses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was that was born down here mm -hmm. in the land of Egypt, okay? Okay. Um yeah, he's um he's born down here. I'm just gonna fast forward, okay? Okay. So when Moses become when Moses and he's he's raised in Pharaoh's household, okay? Mm -hmm. Now Moses was a Hebrew. Now Moses, when he turned forty years old, it, it said it came into his heart, yes. okay, to flee the land of Egypt, okay? Mm -hmm. So he saw he saw a fight going on, the Egyptians mm -hmm. fighting his, his fellow brethren, the Hebrews, okay? Mm -hmm. So we Killed or smited one of the Egyptians, okay? Okay. He buried him in the sand, okay? So that's a death and a burial. Mm -hmm. You got me? You got me? Yes. And then he fled through the waters of the Red Sea, or, or he had to come up out of there, okay? As a resurrection. You got a death, burial, resurrection, okay? 40 years old, okay? Mm -hmm. That's how Moses came up out of Egypt, okay? Now he's up here in the land of Midian, mm -hmm. okay? Now we're going to fast forward now. He's in the land of many for 40 years. Now he's 80 years old, okay? Okay. So now Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, it said that Yahweh spoke to him out the bush, Elohim spoke to him out the bush, and the angel spoke to him out the bush, all right? These three are one, out the same bush. It said that the bush was consumed, yes. but it wasn't, you know what I mean, it didn't burn up in a sense, okay? Mm -hmm. What what they're truly saying is that Moses having the divine vision revelation yes. of Yahweh you know, from Yahshua mm -hmm. right in his head cavity. Okay, yes. so he said to Moses that I seen I'm I'm down here in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So in other words, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, these three of one had answered projected himself, you got me, mm -hmm. to Moses. He's he's Aya Asha Aya. You got mm -hmm. me, he will be what he will to be. Yes. He's at the same place. At the same time, yes, communicating with Moses. He said, I want you to come down here where I'm already down here. I see the affliction of my people and I hear their cry. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. I want you to go down, come down here mm -hmm. and tell Pharaoh and the children of Israel what my name is. Mm -hmm. You got me? You, got, you understand? Yes. Yes. That's what he said. Name. Yes. Let's get make that clear so we understand that God and Lord are not named. No, no, no. So what you're reading is erroneous. Mm -hmm. He said, tell them what my name is. Read on. Let's see what this the King James Bible is erroneous. Read on. And God said, Moreover unto Moses. That's a title, not a name, ain't that right? 
Thus shall thy say unto the children of Israel, mm -hmm. the Lord God. See, the Lord God, and I said two titles there, the Lord God. <laughs> ain't that something? See, ain't he gave with his name? Ain't that something? <laughs> Read on. The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, right. the God of Isaac, Read. and the God of, J of Jacob, has sent me unto you. That's good. See, all those, all those erroneous titles are not named. Yes. That ain't what he said. Yes. He said, Tell them what my name is. Yes. You got me? Yes. So Moses is the first man in, in the history of mankind. Yes. That Yahweh revealed his revealed holy divine name to for yes. the very first time. Yes. Okay? Now, read it out. To, read it how it's truly supposed to be. The same verse and going down. Uh, there, which one starts in? In, in the Holy Name Bible. Then when you come out, I want you to go to Exodus 6 and start at verse 1 and go to verse 3. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Holy Name Bible. Go ahead. Now, this is what's supposed to be. The true and correct names and title is inserted right back where it's supposed to be for the Holy Name Bible. Read on. Holy Name Bible. And Elohim said unto Moses. Now, go go up. One more. And Moses said unto Elohim, Behold. Uh-huh. Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel. See, he's up here. He said, okay. now, when I, come to, when I come down here to the children of Israel, which are in the land of Egypt, read on at this particular point, read on. And shall say unto them, say, say unto them, read on. The Elohim of your father has right. sent me. There you go. That's the divine title. The Elohim of your father has sent me. Read unto on. Unto you. And they shall say to me, what is his name? You see how that goes? So God, not a name. See how that goes? That's right. What is his name? What, All right. What shall I say unto them? It's very important about the name. Why? Because you got to be delivered That's right. by his name. That's right. You got me at the first speaker already said Lord and God and Jesus Christ and Allah, Buddha, and Krishna. Mm -hmm. You got me? And Adonai mm -hmm. and Yahweh and Yahweh Ski and mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Guess what? what? It has to be cut away or rooted up. Right. You got me? Mm -hmm. Or extirpated. Right. You understand? Right. And replace with the true and correct divine holy name and divine title mm -hmm. in the name of the Savior, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. You got me? Yes. All right. That's the only way you can be delivered from darkness mm -hmm. or from deception right. to the marvelous light. Right. You got me? Yes. That's 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 how it goes. Mm -hmm. It's Yahweh's pattern. Right. That's why he wanted to. That name, you got to have that name when it when it come up out of here. Mm -hmm. You got to have a, the blood inside of them. Mm -hmm. You got to have a land inside of them mm -hmm. before you got to come up out of the, before you be delivered out of Egypt. You mm -hmm. got me at that something. Same way with us. It ain't nothing changed. Yeah. The manifestation changed, but the principle remained the same. Yes. So he said, I want you to come back down here. Mm -hmm. I want you to come down here mm -hmm. and tell the tell the children of Israel, Pharaoh. What my name is, you got me? Yes. Because did no one know him by his divine holy name to reveal to, to Moses? Mm -hmm. They knew him by El Shaddai, right. and El El Yon, and Elohim. Yes. Go on and continue to read, please. Uh, and Elohim said, Moreover to Moses, right. thus shall thy say. Now, uh, not only do you tell him what my name is, but I want you to tell him a divine title of mine, too, who I am. Mm hmm. Read on. And Elohim yeah. said, Moreover unto Moses, Thus shall I say unto the children of Israel, Read. Yahweh, Yahweh, the Elohim of your father. He didn't say, say God. He didn't say, say Lord. He said, tell him Yahweh, the Elohim of your fathers. Read. The Elohim of Abraham, Read. the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob Read. has sent me unto you. Read. This is my name forever. For how long? Forever. This is, this is my name until you, until you decide that you want to insert you know, Lord God and Jesus and, and Allah and Buddha and Krishna and Yahweh and Yahawaski, you know, from the demonic spirit in certain erroneous names and titles in the place of Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. But yes. Yahweh not having it. You understand right. why? Because he said everything that praises him. You got everything right. that has breath praises Yahweh. Yes. All creation praises Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And the satanic spirit walking around, you got me, mm -hmm. with the deception. You know, calling Yahweh out his name and getting and getting people, deceiving people, right. calling by these erroneous names and titles. Right. That same one that's breathing in like I'm breathing, mm -hmm. all they're doing is inhaling and exhaling. That's right. And guess what is inhaling? 
Just exhale. Every day of his life. Pick that something. Pick that something. That's something. The heart beating. Yahweh. 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 Mm. Pick that something. Mm. That's the only name. Mm. You ain't breathing your awa. Yeah. You got me? You're not breathing your whole world. You're not breathing that. You got me? Yes. This school and this class is, is to bring you conscience mm -hmm. or awareness of how your heavenly father truly is and how he actually exists. Mm -hmm. You got me? Read on. And this is my name. This is and this is my memorial unto all generations. This is my name. This is my memorial unto all generations. Ain't that something? Yes. Go to Exodus um, six and one. Start at verse one and go down to verse three. Go ahead and read. Exodus six and one. Mm -hmm. Exodus six and one. Let's see. Her name Bible. Read. Then Yahweh said unto Moses. Then Yahweh said unto Moses. Now shalt thy see what I will do to Mo to Pharaoh. Excuse That's me. That's right. Read. For with a, a a strong hand shall he let them go. With this now he down he down here in Egypt. See? Okay. But you gonna just, you gonna you gonna witness what I'm gonna do to Pharaoh. Okay. With a strong hand. What do you say? With a strong with uh with a strong hand shall he let them go. Read. And with a strong hand shall he drive them out of. His land. Breathe. And Elohim spake unto Moses breathe. and said and unto said him, him breathe. and said unto him, I am Yahweh. I am Yahweh. Read. <laughs> and I appear unto Abraham. Now he appeared to Abraham. Now Abraham had a vision. Let me read on. I will appear unto I I appear unto Abraham. Read. Unto Isaac. Read. And unto Jacob. Read. As El Shaddai. As El Shaddai. See, did no one know Yahweh's name? To rebuild to Moses for the very first time. You got me? So he tell Moses, come back down to, to Egypt, land of Egypt. You got me? Yes. God gave the very visit to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. You got me? Yes. They see me. Mm -hmm. You got me? As yes. a flesh and as, as a as a as a shape of a man without flesh and blood. Yes. But I never revealed my name to them. All they knew all they knew me is by my divine title, one of my titles of El Shaddai. Yes. You got me? Mm -hmm. And I know me by Yahweh. Read on. But my name, read. But by my name, Yahweh. Read on. <laughs> but by my name, Yahweh. Read. Was I not known? Was to, I not known to, to any them. man before I rebuild my holy name? To Moses. To, you got to run like. Mm. You got we didn't know nothing about our heavenly Father, true and correct name, and our saving the divine title to win until he rebuilt yep, to us. Right. Guess what? By divine vision, mm -hmm. and divine revelation. That's how Yahweh deals with man. Yes. You got me? Yes. To, to reveal himself to that man if that's what he wants to do. That's right. If that's something. Yes. We're ever so grateful and thankful. Yes. All right? So now turn your Bible to Proverbs. Let's start at verse, uh, Proverbs 30. And let's go to verse 4. Won't you get for me First Kings eighteen and twenty one from the uh, King James Bible? Let's go. A uh, King James version. Yes. And Elijah. Elijah, read on. Came unto all the people and said, Right. How long? How long? Help ye between two opinions. Between two opinions. Read on. If. The Lord be God. Now, that's a King James Bible. It's erroneous. Now, it says, now, if the Lord, uh -huh. read on, be God. If the Lord be God, read on, follow him. Follow him. Read on. But if Baal, now, if Baal, then follow him. Now, if you might not know this view in the audience, but you will know today and do your research. Lord means Baal, and Baal means Lord. You got me? Yes. So that just... That's what the transcribers had insert had insert the erroneous stuff mm -hmm. in there. You understand? Mm -hmm. Lord and Baal mean the same thing. Okay? okay. They worship Baal back down here in the land of Egypt. You got me? Yes. The Lord of Baal. Do your research. Lord and Baal mean the same thing. Okay? Okay. Do your research. Now I'll read it how it really is supposed to be. Out of the Holy Name Bible. Read. Holy Name Version. Read. Holy Name Bible. See what Lord Pope, where Lord is in, in when Lord is in um the King James Bible, the mm -hmm. all capital case letters. Yes. Supposed to be Yahweh there. Okay? Where it says um Baal. Mm -hmm. You got me? 
it posted it, it that is it posted that is true. It's supposed to be Baal or the Lord there. That is true. At, at that at that Baal part. Okay. You got me? Yes. You understand? Yes. And God supposed to be Elohim in that same verse. But we're gonna read how it really supposed to be. Read on. Uh, her name Bible. Read. And Elijah came unto all the people yes. and said, and said How long How long help ye between two opinions. How long how long are you gonna be after receiving the divine truth today? You got me? Yes. That's what he's saying. And you, we're gonna we're gonna get into it. Read on. Between two opinions. How long are you gonna be between calling Yahweh out of his name, calling your heavenly father Lord or Jehovah? You got me? Mm -hmm. Instead of calling him Yahweh. How long, see? This might be your last opportunity today. You got me? How long? Or are you going to be calling him a erroneous title of God instead of calling him by a divine title, Elohim? How long are you going to be calling the name of the Savior, Jesus, instead of Yahshua? See? Mm -hmm. You got me? Yes. Time is up, mm -hmm. people. You got me? Yes. Read on. That's what he's asking. If Yahweh be Elohim. Yeah, now, restart it over again. And Elijah came unto all the people and, and said. That's right. How long shall ye between two? How long two shall you be between Two opinions. Two opinions. Read. If Yahweh be Elohim. If Yahweh be Elohim. Follow him. Follow him. Read on. But if Baal. But if Baal or the Lord. Then follow him. Or the Lord God. Follow him. See, so that's Yahweh putting it out there today. You got me? That's good. So that's just how it's supposed to be. That's really how it's supposed to be. You got me? Yes. You understand? Yes. All right. So you got both sides of the spectrum. Yes. It's your day. Today is your day. To choose. You understand? Yes. Or to repent or to stay. Okay. And you got to you're gonna pay a, 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 a significant price mm -hmm. for calling Yahweh after you come to the divine truth of Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, these three are one, Yahweh yes. the true correct name, the revealed name, who revealed the Moses for the very first time. You understand? Yes. yes. You got me? And all the rest of them, see? Mm -hmm. Divine title Elohim in the name of the Holy Spirit Yahshua. These three are one. Yahshua means that Yahweh. Shua means salvation mm -hmm. or liberty or freedom. Yes. You got me? It's all is Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. You got me? Yahweh is supreme corporeal form yes. as the word or son. Mm -hmm. and Yahweh manifested itself in the flesh as Yahshua the Messiah. You got mm -hmm. me? Yahshua means that Yahweh is salvation. It's the only name you can be saved in. Mm -hmm. Meaning your soul. Yes. Before the turning too late. You understand? Yes. That's the, that's the name of the game. Go to the next one, please. Uh, Proverbs. Proverbs 30 and four. and 4, please, from the Holy Name Bible. Proverbs 30 and 4. Holy Name Bible. Read. Who hath ascended up into heaven. Who hath ascended up into heaven. Or descended. Or descended means come down from heaven. I'm mean, using that a pictorial illustration, okay? okay. Heaven, is not a, heaven is not a place, per se. Right. You got me? Yes. And as the first speaker already had read, 1 Corinthians 15 to 50, mm -hmm. said that flesh and blood cannot inherit heaven right. or the kingdom of Yahweh. Why? Because there's no flesh and blood there. Yes. Why? Because Yahweh is pure spirit. Yes. Okay? Yes. So the one who came down from heaven, mm -hmm. I'm just going to use that pictorial straight. Wherever you think heaven is to be, mm -hmm. you got me, it's spirit, not flesh and blood there. All right? Yes. So the one, start that over again. Who has ascended up into heaven okay, or read. descended. Or descended, read. Who has gathered the winds in his who, fist. It is who has gathered the winds in his fist. Read on. Who has bound the waters in the uh, garment. That's right. Who has, who has bound the waters or set a decree or set a, de a decree for the waters. Read on. Who, who has this? established all the ends of the earth. Who has established all the ends of the earth. Who is that? Read on. What is his name? What is his name? Read on. And what is his son's oh, name? What is his son's name? <laughs> you got me? That's the question. That's the question. So the name of the heavenly father is Yahweh. You got me? And the name of his son is Joshua the Messiah. Which is Yahweh himself manifested with flesh, really. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. That's good. Go to the next one, please. Jer um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 23rd chapter. Thought about verse 23. 25. That's verse 25. Jeremiah 23 and 25 from the Holy Name Bible. Uh, Holy Name Bible. Go ahead. 
Am I an Elohim only? Twenty-three. Oh, oops, let me just check this a minute. Excuse me. I have heard what the prophets say. Now I have heard what these false prophets say. Mm -hmm. What, in other words, satanic spirits inside these ministers, mm -hmm. these these preachers, these pastors, these bishops, these imams, yes. these priests. Yes. You got me. Yes. You got me? Yes. The one the, the ones who are calling Yahweh by these erroneous names and titles. Yes. Those are satanic spirits incarnated inside them bodies. Okay? Yes. As, the, as the previous speaker already said, she has never seen anything like this in any of these so-called churches. No. Why is that? Because that pastor standing before you. Yes. That bishop, that mm -hmm. minister, that priest, that imam, you mm -hmm. got me? Mm -hmm. Has had has had has has not had uh, yes. a divine vision yes. a divine revelation straight from the creator himself. Because if he did, yes. this is what you will see, pictorial illustration, inside of the mosques, the temples, the yes. synagogues, and the so-called churches, yes. and the kingdom halls. Yes. You got me? That's what you will see. Yes. But since you don't see them there, no. let's, let's find out what Jeremiah says about this. Read on. I have heard what the prophets this is Jeremiah, yeah. or Yahweh speaking through Jeremiah, or shown Jeremiah by divine vision and revelation. Start that over again. I have heard what the prophets said. I have heard what these false prophets or the satanic spirits have said. Read on. That prophesy lies. That prophesies lies. In my name, in saying. My, in my name, read on. Saying. Saying. I have dreamed. Now that, I have dreamed. You said they have dreamed. Read on. This is our vision for the year. Read. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the hearts of the prophets? How long shall it be in the hearts of the, or the false prophet or satanic spirit incarnated in them hearts or them souls? Read that, on. That prophesy lies. That prophesies lies. Read. They, they are prophets of the deceit. They their, are uh, prophets of the deceit, or false prophets of the deceit of what of their own, own heart, of their own imagination. You got me? <laughs> yeah. They're coming up with stuff, yeah. playing church. Is that something? Yes. It ain't nothing true about what they're doing. Right. They're liars. Right. Say, so Teddy Spirit is a liar. He's a deceiver. Yeah. Read on. He can't come up this stuff on his own. Yahweh ain't, ain't told this man to. The so called build a church? No. Think that's something? No. All right, read. Which think to cause my people. Which think to cause my people. To forget my name. That's what's all about. See, to forget my name for, for what? For my. To forget my name by their dreams. By their dreams. Which they tell every which man. Which they tell every man. To his neighbor. To his name. As their fathers have forgotten my name for them. God said, tell my. Trying to get. Trying to get. Trying to. Get, try, to, try to get my people to forget not my name for the Lord, mm -hmm. for Jehovah, mm -hmm. for Allah, mm -hmm. for Buddha, for Krishna, for yes. Yahweh. You got me? Yes. For uh, uh, Adonai, Yahawaski. Yes. Uh, uh, for Jesus and for Christ. Yahweh not happy. With that, sir. Yes. Trying to forget my, trying to get my people to forget my, my name, name for the Damn. Lord. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something, which is an erroneous title, not a name. God's erroneous title and not a name. Mm. Read. That's good. Go to Hoshea 2. Let's start about verse 16 for the Holy Name Bible, please. Holy Name Bible. Read on. And, and it shall be at that day, it, says it, it, Yahweh. It shall be at that day, says Yahweh. That thou shall call me no more that you should, it, it shall be in that day, start it over again, please. It shall be at that day. And it, and it shall be in that day. Says Yahweh. Says Yahweh. That I shall call that me. That you should call me Isha or my husband, read on. Isha, and shall call me no more Baal. And shall Baal. call me no more, the Lord of Baal. <laughs> at that day. Yes. You got me? And yes. that day, it possibly can be today. Yes. You got me? Yes. He said, no longer call me Lord Jehovah, uh, 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 Yahweh, or Allah, or Krishna, or Buddha, or Buddha, or Allah. Yes. No longer call me God or Jesus or Christ. But he said he wants you to call him what? Read on. But I will take away the names of 
uh, Balaam. He said he will take the names or the title of the name Lord Jehovah God Jesus Christ Allah Buddha Krishna Yahweh Yahawaski Adonai out of your mouth. Read on. Out of her mouth. Read on. And they shall no more be remembered. And they shall be no more remembered by their name. By their name. Why? Because Yahweh said that his name is a memorial. Yes. And remember this name Forever. for all generations. generations. Yes. You understand? Yes. And, and not only that, to, so, so, so you to become aware and conscious of yes. that you are breathing the name of Yahweh every single day. You can't help it. As long as you have breath in your body, you are praising and breathing the name of Yahweh. Inhale it. Exhale it. Conscious. Meaning when you go to sleep and, and, that, and that heart is beating and that, and that lungs are exhaling, inhaling, mm -hmm. that's all you're doing is breathing the name of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. You got me? Yes. Ain't that something? Yes. To become conscious of that. Yes. What's really been going on all the time. Ain't that something? Yes. Yahweh is everything that has breath is doing that. Your dog and fight in the backyard <laughs> and breathing Yahweh's name. Ain't that something? Yes. Run your dog for a while and and, and bend over with him, and he bends over, and that tongue is hanging out. All he going, <laughs> Yahweh, that's all he's doing. Praise Joshua, Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's good. Oh, go ahead and read. You read verse 17? Uh, that was 17, yes. All right. Now go to um, John 19th chapter in the 19th verse. John 19 and 19. Go ahead, please. Her name Bible. Read. And Pilate wrote this title. Now, and Pilate now, wrote a now, title. Now, Pilate wrote uh, this title. Mm -hmm. Now, read on. And put it on the cross. Now, this is what he referred to in John 19 and 19. He said, Pilate, when they put our Savior on the cross, yes. okay, we're going to find out what his name is. All right. we, we know what his name is, but we're going to see if it's truly his name or not. See, okay. when, it, when, when this when this, when this this act happened right here, yes. you got me for all mankind. You got me mm -hmm. picked up all mankind on this side of the cross, because the cross right here. You got me? Yes. By that hand going like that, picked up all mankind before he came in as Joshua the Messiah. You got me? Yes. And, and picked up all man. Future tense. You got me? Yes. You got me? Yes. You got me? Yes. Covered heaven and earth, top to bottom, side to side. You yeah. got me? Yeah. By the act right here. You got me? Yes. By the remission of, in other words, by the, by the, by his blood. Okay? Yes. So, when they, when they put him on this cross. Yes. You got me? Mm-hmm. There's a, there's a title up here. Most people that wear these crosses. Yes. With, with, with the, uh. What what uh, what the world called Jesus, but it's truly Yahshua hanging on the cross. We're gonna find out what it says too. Okay. Is that true or not? It said it wrote a description on top, and in, in, in those little you see the little charms with a physical body hanging on the cross. Mm -hmm. It'll have four letters up there on that on that cross. Okay. It's gonna say I N R I. Let's let's see what that stands for. Read on. And this, Pilate, this is Latin too. Read on. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And put it see right here. Read. And the writing was. And the writing was. Yahshua of Nazareth. Now, now the King James Bible will say he's going to say Jesus. We're going to find out is that true or false. Is the name Jesus or not. That's all erroneous. There's certain Jesus where, where, where Yahshua is supposed to be. This, this, this is going to just extirpate and cut all that uh, uh, deception out right there. Read on. We're going to find out if Jesus was the name or not. Read on. Joshua of Nazareth. Joshua of Nazareth. The king of the Jews. The king of the Jews or the king of the Yehudites. Read on. This title then read many of the Jews. Read. For the place where Joshua. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be really, see that's erroneous too. Jews supposed to be Hebrews or, or, yes. or, 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 or Yehudites. Yes. No J. Uh -huh. No J in Hebrew. Right. And, and read that little part again right there. Uh, this title. This title read. Then this title then read many of the Jews, Jews or the Yehudites. Read on. For the for the place where Yahshua was crucified. The place where Yahshua was crucified. Read. Was nigh to the city. Was read. 
and it was written in Hebrew. It was written in Hebrew. No, <laughs> no J's in Hebrew. And there, Greek. What, what, and there's no J's. There was no J's in the Hebrew language when this took place. There was no J's in the Greek language when it took place. There was no J's in Latin Latin language when it took place. Be, before, then, at this time, and, and after this, this death, burial, resurrection, and attention outpouring, there's no J's in Hebrew, Latin, Greek today. You got me? Yes. So it, 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 it couldn't have been possible for his name to have been or is Jesus to this day. Because it said it wrote in the scripture yes. on the cross yes. in Hebrew, Latin, or Greek. Yes. Do your research, people. Even your King James Bible is going to say that in John 19 and 19 and 20, what they wrote the inscription in. They say it wrote it in English. Right. The letter J has only been in existence for approximately about 500 years to the day, or, or between five to 600 years old to the day. You got me? Right. Didn't come into existence until 1,400 years after this took place right here. Okay. What name could have possibly been, you understand? Yes. Jesus, you understand? Yes. Or Jehovah, you got me? Yes. Or Joshua, you listening? Yes. No J, no Joshua, no J, no Jehovah, no J, no Jesus. All right? Yes. You got it? Yes. Let's go. Um, we'll keep reading there. And I'll just go to Acts um, 1. That's okay. Um, read Acts um, 4 chapter verse uh, 11 and 12 verse 10 verse 10 Holy name Bible read. Be, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel yeah that by the name of Yahshua the Messiah of read, Nazareth, read. whom ye crucified, whom Yahweh, whom you crucified, read on, whom Yahweh raised from the dead, whom Yahweh raised from the dead, even on. by, uh, even by him doeth this man stand here before you whole. Read. This is the stone which was set at the, uh, not of your builders. Read. Which is become the head of the corner. Right. This is this 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 is this. Yahshua Messiah, he's the head of the corner and not one of the so-called churches on the corner. You got me? Yes. It, the true church is not a physical building. You got me? Yes. Let's go read. Neither is there a salvation in any other, for there is he, none... They're, they're right. He, neither is there salvation in any other name. Yahshua was the only name of salvation. Let's go read. For there is none other name under heaven given among men. There is no, no other name. What does that mean? No other means no other name given unto men under heaven. Read on. Whereby we must be saved. We, we must be saved. Read. That's good. Now go to uh, Philippians 2 and 9. To the Holy Name Bible. Read on. Holy Name Bible. Read. Wherefore Yahweh also hath, hath uh, highly exalted him. Yahweh has highly exalted him. Read on. And given him a name which is above every I mean, name. Using, the, using, using this as a pictorial illustration. He's not in the physical body anymore. I'm just, just using that as a pictorial illustration, okay? Yes. Yahweh has, has highly exalted Yahshua Messiah. Read on. That at the name of Yahshua, at the, at every the, knee at, should... At the name of Yahshua, every knee should bow. Yes. Read. Of things in heaven, and things in heaven, and things in earth, and things, in earth, read and on. things under the earth, and things under the earth, read on. and that every tongue shall confess every that every tongue shall, shall confess what that Joshua every the tongue shall every tongue shall, shall confess Jehovah no every tongue shall confess Jesus no every tongue shall confess or going to confess the Lord no or God no or Yahweh no I mean or or, or excuse me or Yahweh no you got me or Yahawaski. No. You got me? Yes. What is it going to, to confess? Read on. Every tongue will confess what? It, that and Yashua. as a matter of fact, it's confessing it now out of ignorance. Those that are not conscious, you breathe the name Yahweh. 24-7. That's all you're doing is inhaling and exhaling. You got me? Yes. If you stop one of those, the, the inhaling and exhaling part, you, you know you just passed away. You got me? Yes. And your last breath is going to be away. You got me? Mm -hmm. All right. Read on. Is the Savior 
to the glory of Jah. Okay. And that every tongue shall that confess. Every tongue. Let's say some tongue. Let's say select tongue. Let's say every tongue. Yes. Read on. That and uh, that every tongue shall confess and that. When these languages being spoken in the world, but it said that those that are that that are speaking these different languages too. You got me. Yes. Every tongue. Read on. Shall confess every that Yahshua the Messiah is a savior. Every human being breathes the name Yahweh, whether you're conscious or not. Every tongue is going to confess what? Confess that Yahshua the Messiah that is Yahshua a savior. The Messiah is the savior. To the glory of Yahweh the to Father. To the glory of Yahweh the Father. Read on. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have also obeyed, Read. not as in my presence only, yes. but now much more in my absence, Read. work out work out your own salvation yes. with fear and trembling. Read on. For it, the, it for the it, it from nine to eleven, I think it was. That was it. It says to the glory of Yahweh. That was 12. I have one, one more over. I Start that. Read that last 12. part then. Yeah, read 12 again. Um, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have also obeyed, not as in my presence only, yeah. but now much more in my absence. Read. Work out your own salvation. That's right. Uh, with fear and trembling. Read. To the glory of Yahweh. Yes. yes. Does it say that? No, no. No, no. Oh, well, that was eleven. Yes, I'm sorry. I can go to eleven then. And that, and that every tongue shall confess yes, really. that Yahshua the Messiah is a savior. Yes. to the glory of Yahweh the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God the day class. All praise and glory to Yahshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That include another class given by the Institute of Divine Methods and Research. Um, let's all stand for the doxology. It's going to be fire of Judah, uh, 24th to 25th verse from the Holy Name Bible and Jude from the King James Bible, 24th to 25th verse. Now to him that is able to keep us from falling and, and to resist us falling before his presence with glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise hell of him, I say, through Yahshua Messiah, our sovereign, we will be glory and majesty, dominion and power before all time, now and ever. Let's all say hallelujah. Hallelujah.